So my name's Sarah. Um, I'm a mum of two teenagers. I absolutely love open water swimming. I've been open water swimming now for probably the last two and a half years. I'm Henry Wilson. Um, I've been a, an, an avid swimmer, I suppose, from a very young age, and I had the, the urge to, to fulfil, I guess, a lifelong ambition of mine to, to swim the, the English Channel. And the best way to get into that is to, to join a relay team and, and for a cause that, that I think really struck a chord with me. When I first signed up for the challenge, I, I, I was a little uncertain if it was something that I could actually achieve. And I think just having this goal to aim towards and then um, are just kind of going for it and kind of getting involved in the training. Swim Tyke has been great and they put on like lots of different training events and so to be able to go to all of those events and just like bit by bit it kind of really builds your confidence. Training was what I was advised was don't worry about distance and don't worry about speed. It's about time in the water with regards to, to, the, to the relay challenge and exposing yourself to lower temperatures. As a team, I think over the last few months, we've met up several times, we've been training together, we've got together and really like shared our hopes and our fears for the, for the big swim and worked out ways that we can kind of support each other. I think it's really nice that we've had the opportunity to, to meet so many times down in Dover and at the Aldersot Garrison where we've done a few uh, training venues to, to build our camaraderie. And, uh, a lot of us have, have swum at lakes and things together as well in preparation for this, so we've certainly had the opportunity to build up in that respect. One of the greatest journeys that we see, or the transitions really, uh, are from those that are either not swimming great distances or they're not sea swimmers. The look on their face when they come out after the qualifying swim as well, when they've been in for an hour and a half, you suddenly see that now they are building a resilience that they never knew they had before. And, and, and that for us is, is the real pleasure of seeing them develop. It's just a real mood boost and you just feel like this real amazing like positivity all the time. So I think actually in doing this challenge, weirdly, it's like made me like a really happier person generally. There are fewer people that have swum across the English Channel than have climbed Mount Everest. And it's going to be a long time before we catch them up. And so you can be part of this story and it's a fantastic event to be in. It's about mindset and endurance and, and you'll be with a, a load of other like-minded fellows that are going to be um, doing the same thing with you. So if it's something that you've always wanted to achieve, give it a go. It's just so fantastic and rewarding and I've loved every minute of it. Feeling ready for 4am tomorrow when we push off from, the, from Dover Beach. It was really good. I did swallow a bit of sea. <laughs>